To Devane or not to Devane, that is the question. My mother and I had this running argument about whether we should Devane green chilies for making a salsa or not. She was for deveining. She didn't like spicy food and she wanted things that were just very subtle. All of the spiciness is in the seeds and in the veins. So my idea was that you would just have to use more. But what is totally important in making a salsa is that all the ingredients must be very, very fresh. We want beautiful ripe tomatoes, fresh, fresh jalapeños or serranos, sparkling cilantro, tart limes, and great scallions or onions if you prefer. And then of course, the Mexican oregano to add the special touch. So I have assembled all the ingredients. We're gonna add some scallions, all nicely chopped with some green as well, okay? Both the white and the green. Some garlic. A lot of people don't like to add garlic, but I do. One of my customers said to me, when are you gonna make something with that garlic? And I said, never. Then we're gonna add jalapenos. Here you have to be careful because some of them are hotter than others. We're gonna have the cilantro, which I'm gonna tear with my hands because I don't want it to be chopped up very, very finely because then it releases much better the oils. And as I've quoted my mother many times, you always rub the oregano between your hands to release the aroma. And now a little bit of kosher salt because whenever you're making a fresh salsa, you want kosher salt. Now I'm gonna put in a little bit of lime juice that'll give it a nice bright flavor. So you just taste it. And it's the perfect salsa fresca, pico de gallo, salsa cruda. It goes by many names, but it's always delicious. But let's say that you have some salsa left over. What do you do with it? Do you save it for the next day? No, I use it for cooking. I'm gonna show you how to make our famous red snapper hash. It's a very common spice combination in Mexican cooking. It's canela, the soft stick cinnamon, which is used very, very much in Mexican cooking. Then we have some cumin, and then you have a little bit of cloves. I have my own special spice grinder just for spices. I wish you could smell this. This is one dish I do make with butter. Okay, so now we're gonna add the sauce, and then we're gonna add the spices. We're gonna let that cook a few minutes. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Then you cut your fish in equal sized chunks. Any kind of firm flesh fish will do. Once it's cooked for five minutes, you're gonna put your fish in like this. Let it cook for about a minute and a half. I'm gonna turn it and then you let it rest there so that it'll finish cooking on its own. You wanna break it up so you can serve it as is, as a taco filling or with some flour tortillas, it's delicious. Or you can re-saute it in a little bit of butter to give it an extra depth of flavor. At my restaurant, we serve two table sauces. One is the pico de gallo that we just did, and the other one is our salsa verde, or tomatillo sauce. Tomatillos are called green tomatoes, but in reality, they're not green tomatoes at all. They're actually related to the kiwi and the ground cherry. That's why they have this papery husk. Sometimes it can be difficult to peel because the, the husk gets stuck to the tomatillo. But if that happens, all you have to do is soak them in cold water for a while and that'll uh, take it away and make it very much easier to peel. This sauce is so ridiculously easy to make that I'm even embarrassed to give you the recipe, but people constantly ask me for it. We're gonna have about a pound of tomatillos already cut up. This is a salsa cruda, uncooked sauce. I'm using serrano chilies here, but you can use jalapenos. Two serranos, a little bit of onion, tiny little bit, like about a quarter. One garlic clove and a big bunch of cilantro, what you can get with your hand. This is one recipe where you don't have to take the leaves off because a lot of the flavor is in the stems. And we're just gonna puree it. A little bit of salt. Some people like to add some sugar, but I don't and just a little, little bit of water to make those blades run. Simple as that.